Hey kids, today we're going to be talking about God's will and the verse we're going to be looking at is in Luke twenty two forty two, 42, which says, not my will, but yours be done. So at the last supper, Jesus and his disciples went into the garden. Um, at this point, Jesus knew what was about to happen, but the disciples didn't. They were still clueless. Um, Jesus knew that Judas was going to betray him. Um, he knew he was going to be arrested. Jesus knew that he was going to be put on trial in the middle of the night, and he knew the next day he was going to be sentenced to die on the cross for our sins. While he was in the garden with the disciples, Jesus went off to pray on his own. Um, and he began to pray. He looked up to heaven, and Jesus prayed a prayer he had never prayed before. He said, Father, if you are willing, let this cup pass by me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. What do you think Jesus was talking about? Let this cup pass by me. Was he talking about a big cup of coffee? I love coffee. Do you think Jesus was being tempted to drink some coffee when he knew he should be sleeping? No, Jesus was talking about what was about to happen. He wasn't afraid of the arrest or getting whipped and beaten um, or hung on the cross. The cup Jesus was talking about was the sins of the world that were about to fall onto him. He knew he was going to be separated from his heavenly father when this happened. Um, sometimes when you hear people pray, they say you should pray like this, if it be thy will. Some people will tag every prayer with, if it be thy will. Jesus didn't do that. Jesus didn't say, Lazarus, come forth, if it be thy will. In fact, Jesus only prayed this way one time that we know of in the Bible. The only time you pray this prayer is if you're praying about something that is not in the Bible. For example, I don't have to pray, Jesus, save me if it be thy will. The Bible tells us that it is God's will for me to be saved. I don't have to pray, Jesus, heal me if it will be thy will, because it is always Jesus' will to heal you. Um, we know that God doesn't want us to be sick because Jesus said, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that you might have life and have life in abundance. My heavenly father is a loving heavenly father, just like my earthly father doesn't want me to be sick, neither does my heavenly father. The Bible does not tell us who to marry or what ministry we should serve in. The Bible doesn't tell us who our friends should be. For these kinds of situations, we need to pray the prayer of consecration.